Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they want us to find the time that it takes for the baseball to go from the pitcher's mound all the way to the batter. And so they tell us that the distance is 60 feet from the batter and they give us the speed right here. The distance or the delta x is equal to 60 feet. And they tell us that the velocity is equal to 95 miles per hour. And then we want to find what the delta t is. So let's write that down. And obviously we'll be using the velocity equation. So that is the change in x over the change in time. But we want to solve for the time. So we'll multiply both sides by delta t. Delta t, so that gives us now delta x is equal to v times delta t, but we want to isolate t, so we'll divide both sides now by velocity, by, by velocity. So finally, that gives us delta t is equal to delta x divided by velocity. If you look at the original equation for velocity, let's write it over here. So velocity equals delta x over delta t. All we did is we just swapped the t and the velocity. So if you're on the test and you're wanting to save time, you could do that. But I always like to show all the steps just so my grader knows what I'm doing and so I don't get confused. So now before we plug in the numbers, we need to make sure all the units agree because we have 60 feet for the pitcher's mound distance and then we have 95 miles per hour. So the feet and the miles don't agree and we have to change one of them. It doesn't really matter which one you do. For this, I'm going to change the 95 miles per hour and going to feet per second. So we have 95 miles per one hour. We want the miles to cancel and we're gonna go straight into feet, which is five to 80 feet in one mile. And now let's change the time. So one hour to cancel the hour. And we want to go into seconds. So we know that there are 3,600 seconds per hour. This was found from the useful data section at the beginning of the book. Or you could have gone into minutes and then seconds, but it would have been 60 times 60, which is 3,600, of course. So now we can change this. So now we can plug this into our calculator with 95 divided by 95 multiplied by 5 to 80. And then we'll divide that by 3,600. So we have a speed of 139.33, 139.33 feet per second. So now we can plug the information into the time equation right here because all the units agree now. So we have delta t, that's right here, is equal to the change in the distance, which we said was 60 feet. And that will be divided by what we just found, 139.33 feet per second. We're dividing by a fraction right here. It's essentially over one. And when you divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So the feet would then cancel out. And so we have 60 divided by 139.33. 60 divided by the answer that we just found. And that is 0.431 or 0.43 seconds for the time that it takes the baseball to leave the pitcher's hand to reach the batter.